Hey everyone, I am Bobby Holland and welcome to another episode of SEO Secrets. I am super excited because my plan here is to kick off a new series called Google Map Ranking Secrets. Hopefully I can share uh, strategies and insights, secrets on ranking higher in Google Maps, increasing your rankings and visibility, and sharing tactics and strategies that more than likely you've never heard before. That's my goal. <laughs> so let, let's see how I do. All right, so uh, this is part one of the Google Map, the Google Map Rankings Secrets series on the SEO Secrets Podcast. All right, let's get started. Number one secret today I'm gonna share, it has to do with proximity. Okay, so if you go to Google and you search rank higher or how to rank higher in Google Maps, you will find, ironically enough, you'll find one of our articles from Bipper Media on how to do that, but you will find an article written by Google where Google uh, states specifically three areas that impact rankings in Google Maps, and that is relevance, proximity, and prominence. Okay, those three areas are what Google says increase and impact your rankings in Google Maps the most. Relevance, proximity, and prominence. In this episode, I'm going to focus on a secret that has to do with proximity, okay? So um, to illustrate this proximity secret, um, I want you to go to Google and just pick any city, okay? So let's say, for example, uh, Tampa, Florida. So go to Google and search Tampa, Florida, all right. Now, when you see the search results in Google, you're going to see, and I'm sorry, let me also specify, do this on a desktop computer, right? It might also work on a phone, but I, I definitely know it works on a desktop computer, probably also on a phone. So you can probably do it on a phone, but um, I'm, I'm working from what you would see on a desktop computer. So go to Google on a desktop, search Tampa, Florida. Now on the right hand side is what's called the knowledge panel. You will see what looks like a picture of, uh, of Google Maps with the word Tampa. Go ahead and click on that picture and that's gonna take you to uh, actually Google Maps. Now, if you look on your screen, you may or may not see the word Tampa written, but if you, in the lower right-hand corner, there's usually a plus and a minus button where you can zoom in or zoom out. If you hit the plus button, start zooming in, you will eventually see the word Tampa appear overlaying the Google map. So that word Tampa, um, it's, 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 this is just an interesting fact. Any word for any city that you see, whether it's Tampa or Atlanta or London, it doesn't matter. Anywhere you see the word of the city word printed on Google Maps on your screen, that is the exact longitude and latitude geographic center of that city. Okay, so if you, if you Google Tampa, Florida, and you go to Google Maps, you see the word Tampa. What you are looking at is what Google says is the exact longitude, latitude, center of the city of Tampa, okay? Now, to get even more specific, okay, to get even more specific, if you zoom in even tighter to where you're now down, literally looking at the streets and the intersections, what you will see, and I'm doing this now so I can give you the context of it, the very center of the word Tampa, there's an intersection of East Zach Street and North Marion Street, okay? So that intersection of East Zach Street and North Marion Street in Tampa, Florida, is what Google says and Google displays as the exact geographic longitude latitude center of the city. Now, back to the proximity ranking factor. Okay, so um, if you think of the if you think of the city name printed on Google Maps, and um, you don't even need to get so granular to where it's the intersection, but just that whole general area of where the city name appears. If you think of that as the center of gravity or the center of authority for ranking for that city in Google Maps, okay? So the center would be the most authoritative, the very center of gravity. The more you expand out from a radius, so to speak, expand out from the center of the city, the 
the the the level of authority will start to uh, dissipate, if you will. Okay, it will it will dilute the further out from. It's sort of like a it's sort of like a um, like an earthquake, right? If you have an earthquake and the Richter scale that measures the earthquake, that earthquake is the strongest right at the very center, uh, right at the very apex or the center of of that earthquake. And then the strength of the earthquake dissipates the further out from a radius standpoint that you go. Same thing with the authority in Google Maps. So the secret is if you can look on Google Maps of any city that you want to rank in, if you see the city name in Google Maps and consider getting an office space, now you have to legitimately get an office space um, that's located right there at the very center or in very close proximity to the very center of where that city name appears in Google Maps. If you get an office space at that location, you can now go ahead and verify that office. You can verify, create a Google My Business listing and verify that location in Google Maps. So now you would have a verified Google My Business listing for your business located at the very center of the location authority for that city, okay? Now, here's the interesting thing. Comparatively speaking, um, you take whatever whatever industry you're in. Let's say you're a dental practice or let's say you're a a personal injury law firm. Um, Look, go go back to Google and search, for example, Tampa uh, personal injury lawyers. Now, look at the search results of the law firms that are appearing, number one, two, three, four, five, look at where they are in relation to what I just shared with you. Look at the rankings of those Google My Business listings in relation to the exact geographic center of the city name, okay? Now, this is not an absolute, it's not 100%, it's not the only ranking ranking factor. Remember, Google stated three factors, relevance, proximity, and prominence, but the proximity factor, it is one of the three, okay? It is one of the three, and when it comes to proximity, there's really two sides to that proximity equation. One is where the searcher is physically standing, right? So if I'm in, you know, the east side of Tampa and I search dentist near me or I search, um, you know, a coffee shop near me, if I, if I do that kind of a search, I just made myself, because I search near me, and Google knows exactly where I'm, where I'm standing when I search, I just made myself the center of gravity, so to speak. However, a lot of searches for every single business category you can imagine, people are searching for, example, coffee shops in Tampa, or dentist in Tampa, or car accident lawyer in Tampa, or... Tampa uh, plumbers or, you, you know, so they're searching with the actual city name in it. When that happens, Google does take into consideration where you're physically located, but Google also takes into consideration the city name that you just mentioned. And this example is Tampa. So basically what I'm saying is a secret strategy for you to consider is find the center of the city that you want to have a very high level of proximity authority in go to Google Maps, find where that name is appearing in the maps, drill down in, even drive. I, I've talked with clients who I've shared this with, and they have literally gotten in their car and they have driven down to the city blocks, the city blocks that are geographically in Google Maps, the center of that city. And I, I'm, I'm not lying to you whatsoever when I tell you that some clients, they are, they are, they are heeding this advice and they are actually acquiring office space in the exact center of those cities. So, and I say it's a secret because it's something that usually when I share this particular strategy, uh, most people have never heard this before. They've never thought of it. They never knew the relevance of it. They, they actually just never knew that on Google Maps, the name of the city is actually the longitude latitude center of that geographic area for that city um, in Google Maps. So um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope this is helpful to you to understand how proximity and how you can use Google Maps to see 
what is the geographic center for any given city, any given geographic area, and the strategy being to consider um, looking for office space, open a new office or open an office that's either right in the center of that city or in proximity to the center of that city. Because when you do, now you have a legitimate office space for your business that you can now proceed with the verification process. And the net result is your business has a verified location right in the center of that city. You are solving um, to the max utilization of that proximity factor, your business is now solving that piece of the equation. And now you have maximized to the greatest extent that you can, you have maximized the authority of proximity. So, um, so this is part one of the Google map ranking secrets. Um, the next episode will be part two. So make sure you uh, stay tuned and go ahead and listen to part two once it's live. And um, I, I hope I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, I want to encourage you go uh, go to Facebook and join our SEO Secrets Facebook group. And I share all the episodes there. We have a lot of great conversations and discussions there. Um, if you want help or you want to talk to us directly um, about this, go to bippermedia.com. You will see the Let's Talk button up in the top right, or you'll see it on your screen. Uh, go ahead and click that and go ahead and schedule a call with us to, uh, to uh, talk to us more about this. So um, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we dive into uh, Google Map Ranking Secrets number two. All right. Thanks for